Right, so for part three, we will be creating this brass effect or this brass shader or metal. And you can see it, it, it's brighter on the top. And uh, it's just, is it actually, that's the CG version. So um, you can see what's going on there is like brighter on the top, then there's more dirt on it. So we want to go for this golden brass look as my base, and then I want to add dirt to create, create this darker used look. So first, uh, let's create another um, graph. So new substance graph and call this one brass or brass or wherever you come from, it's different. And let's just copy what we did in the alloy over to, does that make sense? Let's just copy it. Oh, let's just create it from scratch just to be a bit more genuine, I guess. So heading over to the library, going to PBR utilities, and choosing a base material again. So let's see, and right click, oh, three, and connect those guys. And let's see what we can do here. Let's just choose a gold. And let's just control this guy. Okay, so for this one, we actually have inputs. Let's see what the gold shader does look like, if there is one. Oh, there's actually none. Okay, never mind. So we have a custom input. So what we can do now, uh, we can go to PBR utilities and we can use a, uh, which one is it? This one, PBR metal reflectance. And we can choose gold, right? And let's connect the gold base color to here. And then we have a gold reflection. Obviously it's a bit too much. We want it to be more orange. So we can just use saturation and control it a bit. Like deset it a bit and make it huge shift in a more, copper look this is i think better so from here to here um okay that's definitely not matching so let's just see what we can do so we need to go deset and we need to go into more yellow and darker deset more yellow a bit I'm looking now at these colors here, these brighter ones. So I think we are almost there. It's just the shininess now. Let's just control the roughness quickly just to see if we get closer to something like this. So yeah, I think we are kind of there. We need to break it up definitely. So um, let's just first go with this guy. So this is the, def uh, the base frame. And this is base color like so and the next thing would be to break up the base color so first uh, let's bring in those geo masks or shaders or whatever which are in alloy and copy this whole thing copy go back to brass paste it right here takes a while to compute the thumbnails because it's 4k maps there we go and let's create a mask frame. Uh, right click, add frame. This will be masks. Move these guys here, like so, base color. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's first create this metal edge wear, which I liked so much. So mask generators, and it was called Metal Edgeware. Yeah, let's use this one. Connect these guys up. Uh, let's see, this looks pretty cool. And uh, let's just now create a blend node BLD. And let's again move these guys more space. Move it up. Whoa, that's too much. like this and create a levels or let's sorry let's rather create a hue hue set this guy blend is here foreground goes right here and the opacity is this guy so what's going on is that connected same color no effect so the next color is this darker color I'm going for right so you can just pick it let's oh no we actually cannot we can create a default color 
and pick it now like this and connect it here okay so just to see it first this is what it looks like I think it's pretty close in dirt okay I think that's good save and obviously we work in a very low resolution so there's no detail at all so let's go up to uh, let's try 2k takes a while to compute you can see it's at the bottom computing and let's see what we get okay so we can see you get nice detail now on the top you get these darker edges I think it's it's the wrong way it should be brighter on these parts so uh, let's just switch those guys up yeah so obviously this is still not ideal but it is better you get these nice brighter edges so the next thing is to break up the this one as well so let's create another mask and use dirt this time connect up the mesh stuff and use this one with another blend I hope you do follow I just I rather go quickly over these things so this is my base or background foreground this guy goes right here and we want to control this with a dirt mask okay let's see if I connect this alone without the edges okay so this is my dirt which is pretty cool already it's very nice so let's control this a bit um, let's bring a bit um, more contrast more grunge less level let's see what we get here okay that's nice and broken up so we need more level level is an overall increase of values which just makes the overall effect strong I think this is very close already to what we see on the left here we only need to add a bump and these edge um, scratches so I, I think I'm pretty happy um, right so what do we have here what did I do this one connects directly um, what did I do this goes here not sure what the blend does anymore that's the edge wear, right? So the edge wear should be the brighter thing. So let's just do this. Oh, it looks broken, but we'll see what we get. Okay, do we have brighter edges? I think we do. Just double check. If I, oh, sorry, this one is the bottom and this one is the top. So it should actually be working. Let's just add a levels in between and see what changes. Is this actually on? Yes. Okay, let's see. This one goes on to the top and let's just bring in the brightness or the darkness. Yeah, it's definitely working. Okay, so it's just on the edges now. So um, let's make this brighter then. Not as bright, definitely not as bright. I think this looks pretty cool. So we have now a brighter wear and tear edge, I just call it, and we can control this a bit. So wear contrast or wear level, which makes it wider. You can see what's going on here. And let's add more contrast to this. I think that's that's very cool now. Wow. Okay. It's better than my original one, which is this one. You can see how uh, weird that looks now comparing wait where is it here that's my CG version and this looks way better like tons which is nice so um, let's just add this bump like we we, we, will, uh, we will use the metal edge wear to as a bump map so um, let's see if we can open this guy up is there actually a bump info in here nothing at all Okay, so let's create a user bump. Huh, it does not like that if there's nothing in it. So let's create a Sobel and connect up the edgeware and connect it to the normal slot, to the normal slot, to the normal slot. There we go. Okay, something's going on. Let's just 
and create uh, reduced intensity by a lot. Okay, I think we need to invert this or not. Well, let's see. These bumps go outside now. These are brighter, so they should. I think they should go inside. So, um, is there a way to invert this? I actually don't know. Normal should. Is there a normal invert? There is a normal invert. Okay. Connect, connect. Okay, now we have these things. They seem to be going inside now, which is which is better. Saving. And now we want to create, just for the fun of it, this high frequency. So we, again, um, use a normal combine. And we will use another Sobel duplicate. And this one connects to the dust. Um, this one is normal one, this is normal two, and this one is the this normal. So now we should see the, the dirt stuff happening. Takes a while to compute. I think it's done now. We, I think there is something going on here. How does this map look? Oh, there's almost no intensity. Okay, bringing in the detail, as you can see now here on these maps, very nice detail. Way too strong, obviously. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down a bit more. So it's almost original value now. And let's see how it looks in iRay. That's pretty cool. You can see this, these nice dents and scratches. Um, I might be going for a bit darker look still for the um, wear and tear edges. I don't know. Maybe it's also good enough. Um, it can be. It can go a bit more rougher. Do we actually have a roughness on it? How does that look? Oh, we don't have a roughness map so far. So um, let's change that. The first thing would be to see what maps we have. We can use dripping. We can use rust actually. Let's see how the rust map looks like for a roughness map dripping rust let's just go with that and see there's so many different cool things in this which is very nice so three to create these mesh connect the mesh data and for dripping rust the same story as before we just want the y direction so we need to reduce red and blue and just have green green is the y-axis and let's first do this add a frame for normal and move this up and then expose the roughness which is there and create another frame let's go with roughness roughness move it right here and create a oh no let's just connect this up directly just to see how this works and obviously we need a base color so this is now pretty strong you can see this rust or whatever dripping and we just need a base roughness and for the base roughness let's just use um let's just use a no noise pattern let's go with a fine one let's just use black and white spots one uh black and white spots one there we go and connect this as my base roughness and before that we create a levels the levels connect to the roughness so this one will be my fine tuner so definitely there's too much stuff going on so i like to change it to values i'm i just i'm just more familiar with these things so um let's just flatten it out a bit so level in the mids Is there nothing going on really? Okay, let's just bring in the outputs low and high. So we just um, reduce the contrast. Let's just bring it down even more. There we go, slowly getting there, a bit more. We don't want a total value of one, that would be too much.
Uh, let's go a bit more. Yeah. So it's, as you can see, I'm also just testing out, see what looks good. Okay, that's too much. And now we can bring in some some more contrast. So we can increase the level. So we get more like bigger areas which are one color and different areas which are more rough. So that's what I'm doing now with the level in high and level in low. We should just go a bit higher, I guess. There we go. Okay, so this is actually pretty neat. Um, we still we still might be a bit too too shiny, uh, too rough. Yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So my idea was to use the rust, right? So let's create a blend. Uh, blend, 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 and a level. Sorry, first a blend. Blend goes here. Foreground goes there. This goes up here. This one complains now that there it is a color and a float, but we want this um, to be a. Oh, it first needs to have an input. So the input is a float. So then it knows what it is, and everything gets gray and no error message. And now let's connect the dripping rust to the opacity from here. And this should be interesting now. So we need to make this. Um, so we need to use this levels. And now we need to um, change the color to be more. Uh, and now we make need to make it more white. So we have a stronger roughness value for the dripping rust effect, which you can see is happening. OK, so let's control the mask a bit. So let's see how that looks. We definitely want a lot of rust to make it more age, aged. And we want to increase the contrast. OK, maybe it's too much spreading, I guess. OK. So it, it took a while to update, but you can see something is going on here, uh, which is very interesting. And I don't want to go too far because it's already, um, it's not the same anymore. So let's just make um, the black areas a bit darker, which are these guys on the top. So uh, let's change that by changing the lightness. Okay. Maybe that's better. And if you're not happy with the result and you want to see a different effect, what you can do is you can go to the mask and you can actually change the seed value, which will generate a completely new random pattern. So this is now random seed number two. And you can see it, it completely changed um, the look. And it's very dirty now. So this would be um, my look for the brass for this metal. And now what we need to do is we need to combine all those three maps together. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> 